My name is Christian Mehta, and I'm a member of the Carnegie Council. I love the Council because of the opportunity it provides me to be exposed to thinkers and leaders from around the world and to broaden my perspective. But we need your help. To ensure the future of programs such as these, please support the Council's fund drive. Visit carnegiecouncil.org and click donate slash join. Thank you. If you look at corporate America, you'll see a same phenomenon of self-interested action where CEOs manage for short-term profits, not for long-term health, say with R&D, and seem to manage for very large oversized compensation packages, not, again, for necessarily conducive to restoring trust in the society. You go to schools. The culture of respect is non-existent in most urban public schools. We did a survey a few years ago, Public Agenda did a survey for us where they found that 43% of the high school teachers in America say they spend more time maintaining order than they do teaching. Now think about what that means. So that means the students are getting, those classes getting at most half the learning they're, they're supposed to get. Well, what happened to order? Well, that's actually been studied by Richard Aram at NYU, among others. Turns out there's a direct correlation between the rise of due process and the decline in order in, in America's schools. Uh, Public Agenda also did a survey about um, law in schools and found that 78% of the middle and high school teachers in America had been threatened with lawsuits or violations of the rights of their students by their students. Now, it's not that they would mostly sue, and if they sued, that they would win. But think of what it says about the corrosion of authority of teachers, that students feel with impunity and believing that they have legal rights to avoid the legitimate decisions of, of, of teachers, of teachers in, a, in a classroom. Go to the professions. The word profession comes from the idea of professing values. So a profession exists because it's supposed to stand for values of basic honesty and standards of conduct, whether it's in the legal profession or the medical profession, accounting profession, or others. Well, I will tell you as a practicing lawyer that I don't trust anything another lawyer says or writes. I've seen so many misquotes of cases, so many distortions of facts that the other lawyer knew were disingenuous that this become commonplace to argue whatever you think you can get away with in a crowded, crowded courtroom. Mm -hmm.